At first thought, what Lent means to me is no gummy bears for 40 whole days. Obviously, it's something I don't abstain from much during the rest of the year. But upon deeper reflection, Lent has always pointed me to the penitential practices that have traditionally been a part of this season. Prayer, fasting, and almsgiving. Hello, I'm Father Michael Kennedy. Having grown up during the indulgent 80s, the idea of foregoing any creature comfort was foreign even to a cradle Catholic like myself. Fasting seemed archaic and unnecessary. Prayer was something you did if you got pulled over by the police. And almsgiving was frankly for suckers. But after decades away from the faith and a self-centered lifestyle that was so indulgent, it almost killed me. I came to see the timeless wisdom in the church's penitential practices. In fact, I came to see their particular importance for someone as undisciplined as me. These disciplines enable us to journey across the desert of Lent through the passion of our Lord to the new life promised us at the resurrection on Easter morning. We follow Christ into the desert to be freed of everything but our reliance on Him alone. During Lent, prayer takes on a special significance. Prayer enables us to hear the voice that is directing us across the desert. We speak to Christ, and more importantly, we listen for His voice. The desert of Lent strips away the distracting noises to seek to drown out the still, small voice of Christ. Fasting is in direct imitation of Christ, who fasted for 40 days in the desert. I know this might be hard to believe, but it's probably the practice I struggle with the most. Fasting strips away my inordinate attachment to the sensual things in my life. Food, obviously, but also the internet, my phone, television, all those material things that draw me away from Christ. And as the diocesan director of Catholic Relief Services, I would be remiss if I didn't make the rice bowl connection to almsgiving. Giving to programs like the CRS Rice Bowl is a way to help those who are the least of Christ's brothers and sisters, and thus to help Him. All it takes for the Rice Bowls is your spare change. Almsgiving strips away my fear of economic insecurity and my inability to trust that God has it all covered. Lent is, in the long run, a journey to union with Christ, first on His cross and then a great Christian hope at the resurrection. These Lenten practices are, to me, a chance to revitalize and expand what should already be my daily habits. I've discovered that the extent to which I'm able to make these disciplines a part of my everyday life and help others do the same, they open me to the transforming grace of God in His sacraments and in my relationship with Him and His Church, so that I can be remade in the image of Christ. Lent is a time to be intentional and passionate about this effort and not to worry about gummy bears.